Getting smooth, clean lines is something a lot of digital artists struggle with, whether they're just starting or making the jump from traditional to digital. In this video, I'm going to share my tips and tricks on how to achieve better line art in digital art. As a reminder, this is just my way of doing things. What I share here might work for you or it might not, but I hope this video can help you in some way in your art journey. You can see here a sped up recording of me doing the line art in this piece, applying everything I'm going to talk about, but I am going to jump in with some real-time clips where necessary. You might notice I'm doing my line art in red instead of black. This is just a personal preference of mine. The first tip I have is something I heard ages ago and it stuck with me. Try to always draw lines towards yourself. That will create more stable lines than when drawing away from yourself. When working with a particularly tricky line, you can rotate your canvas so you'll be drawing at a more comfortable angle. In most digital drawing programs, you can achieve this by holding R on your keyboard and rotating the canvas with your stylus. But I personally prefer to do it using the slider on this little window right here, called the Navigator in Clip Studio Paint. This is the rotation slider. You can press this button to reset it. If you don't see the Navigator in your workspace, you can get it by going to the window menu right up here on top of the screen and clicking Navigator right here. Then you get this window here and you can dock it wherever you want. I personally like to dock it right here on the top right. Second tip, zooming in and out. The zoom tool is your friend. In Clip Studio, you can do that either with the slider in the navigator window, like this, or by pressing Ctrl plus and Ctrl minus on your keyboard, like this. Pressing Ctrl-0 will reset the zoom. When you're drawing a long, continuous line, try zooming out so that you don't have to make such a big movement to draw it, like this line of the vest right here. Normally, I'd be zoomed in like this to do the line art on places such as the nose. But if I'm going over here to the vest and I stay zoomed in, that takes up almost the entire screen, you see? So that's a much bigger movement that I have to make. But if I zoom out, it becomes a tiny line, and it's much easier to get a smooth, stable line. The third tip, which is the one that I use the most, is drawing your lines beyond the point where you want them to begin and end. I use this a lot, especially when I'm drawing hair, because I have a lot of lines intersecting each other. And for hair especially, I like my lines to be very fluid. So you see, when I'm doing the hair, I'll draw my lines way longer than they need to be. Then, I'll draw another line that intersects with the first one and erase the leftovers, like this. Now, this can be a little annoying because you might accidentally erase part of the line that you wanted to keep, right? Well, there's two ways to get around that. The first one, which you can use with most drawing programs that have a layer feature, is to make each line in its individual layer. Then, after you've erased what you want gone, you can merge the layers, like this. You can see here, I've created a new layer, and I'm going to draw this line. And it interse intersects here. So, since it's a new layer, I don't have to worry about erasing the line that's already there, I, and I can just erase this bit that I don't want. Then, I can merge the layers. However, if you're using Clip Studio, there's an even easier way to do this, called a vector layer. Vector layers in Clip Studio Paint allow you to manipulate your lines in ways you normally can't. One of these ways is the vector eraser, which you can select from this list of eraser brushes, right here. Vector. When you use a vector eraser alongside a vector layer, the eraser won't work as intended in a normal layer. You can draw intersecting lines, and by simply going over the part of the line you want to erase, the program will automatically detect the intersecting point and erase everything beyond it, like this. See, this is a normal layer and I'm going to create a vector layer using this button right here. And I'm going to draw these lines here. Now I'm going to come in with the vector eraser and go over this part right here. And you can see the excess lines are gone. Vector layers in general can be used to make your life way easier when it comes to line art. Like I said, they allow for a lot of freedom in how you can manipulate your lines. You can manually adjust your line by going to the correct line tool at the bottom here, and selecting control point. You see each line has all these little points that you can manipulate to create the line that you want. As you can see in this panel, there's a lot of tools that you can use, including adjust line thickness. 
you can make it thicker or thinner by going over it with this too. And you can even connect lines like this. I use vector layers a lot for drawing circles, which are notoriously hard to draw. The next tip is for when you're trying to draw details like shoelaces or stitches. This is something you can do in Clip Studio Paint. These shoelaces here, I'm going to erase them and I'm going to show you how I made them. So you want to create a new layer and you want to go over here to layer properties. If you can't see it, once again, go to the window menu and click on layer property and you should get this panel. You want to select border effect and then, this is important, as your edge color, pick black. You can define the thickness of your edge. I normally leave it around 2 pixels. Then, using a white brush, you can draw your shoelaces. You see that the layer effect is creating the outline for us. After you're done, you want to rasterize your layer. That will get rid of the border effect, so that if you come back and draw on this layer, you won't have the outline anymore. Then, you want to go up here on Edit, in the top left of the screen, and click Convert Brightness to Opacity. The program will delete the white part, leaving us only with the black outline. Then, you can go on your original layer and erase the details that would be covered up by the shoelaces. And there you have it. Perfect easy to draw shoelaces. The last tips I'll share have to do with your Clip Studio Paint settings. First, play around with pen pressure. If you go to the file menu on the upper left of the screen, you can find your pen pressure settings. It will open this window called Adjust Pen Pressure. Here, you can follow the instructions on screen to draw freely on the canvas, varying how much pressure you put in your pen as you would normally when drawing and Clip Studio will automatically adjust this graph here for you. It's really important to do this when you first start using Clip Studio. You can also manually adjust the graph to your likings by using the points. But I personally like the automatic adjustments. Second, remember you can adjust the stabilization on each brush. You can do this by selecting a brush, and select my line art brush here, and going over here to two properties. You see a slider called Stabilization down here. You can also find this slider by clicking on the wrench icon on the two properties panel, which will open this window, then go to Correction. And here's the Stabilization slider. Stabilization helps make your lines smoother, and it can be really helpful if you have shaky hands, like me. Personally, I like to keep the stabilization on my sketching brushes lower than on my line art brushes, but like I said, you can adjust this to your liking, play around with it, and see what works for you. These were my tips for getting smoother lines in digital art. Hopefully you learned something, and as a bonus for anyone who stuck around to the end of the video, here's a clip of me doing line art on my first ever digital drawing. You can see how much I've improved using all the tips that I've shared in this video. Thank you for watching and have fun drawing!